All right, so I'm heading out to show you how to do launch control on this car. I have a 2017 WRX with a automatic, you know, the CVT transmission, and you can do launch control on this car. It's very easy to do, but there's a few things you should keep in mind. Um, one, don't be doing launch control before your car warms up to operating temperature. That's kind of common sense, but worth keeping in mind. If a car's cold, don't do launch control. If you have just bought this car and it's still in the braking period, don't be doing launch control either. Uh, and I believe it's a thousand miles for this car. So if you're still within that braking period, it's in the manual, don't be using launch control. If you're going out there doing launch control in your car, then obviously you want the most performance out of your car. And the easiest way to lose some of that performance is by using low octane fuel. So make sure you go out there and you get the highest fuel that you can get in your area and make sure you've driven the car for a while and that fuels so that your timings are right because the car can adapt to different fuels. Now, launch control is a controlled way to launch your car safely. And it's also the fastest way that you can launch your car. And what's gonna happen is uh, the car is going to, before you, before you start driving, the car's gonna rev up to 2,500 RPMs and it's gonna stay there until you let go of the brake. And once you let go of the brake, it's gonna to go to the optimal point, the, the point where it makes the most power, and it's gonna stay there because this is a CVT. So it's kind of trippy if you've never done this before, but that's exactly how it works. And you'll be able to see that right there on the tachometer. So that being said, keep in mind that the launch control puts a lot of stress on the transmission. So you shouldn't be going out there and using launch control you know every chance you get out of every light out of every stop sign or you will find the limits of your transmission very very quickly and this is especially true if you modify your car if you modify your car and you add torque to it and you add horsepower to it and you're going out there and doing launch control especially if you if you have the access port and you tune the the engine differently and you raise that rev limit um for launch control yeah you're you're asking for trouble so do it very very carefully and you should be okay All right, so I'm getting ready to use launch control here. Launch control works in any drive mode. So I put the car on intelligent mode just to show you. And you can even have the AC on and it doesn't matter because the car's smart enough to know what you're doing. So the way you use launch control is you're gonna push on the brake and you're gonna leave the brake pushed. Then you are going to floor the gas pedal. Okay, you're gonna floor it. And you're gonna see the RPMs raise to about 2,500 and that's how you know you're ready. When you let go of the brake, the car will launch and you'll see exactly what happens. It'll go up to the where it makes the most power and it'll just stay there for as long as you have that uh, gas pedal floored. So let's see. All right, so I'm on the brake. I'm gonna go ahead and give it gas. There it is, 2,500. Here we go. So that's it, that's how you use launch control. Launch control basically takes away all of your input. So that's the fastest way to drive the car. Like if you just wanna launch it and, and go the fastest you can possibly go, that's that's your way of doing it. Um, because you don't have to shift, you don't have to worry about anything. The car does it all for you. So it is what it is. Thanks a lot for watching. If this was useful to you, support the channel by liking the video and subscribe to see my future content. Take care.